guys welcome back to my channel welcome back for a brand new video so can we just excuse probably how freaking rough i look at the moment this is the whole point of this video it is birthday glow up time even at 110 percent real with you all i have not slept a wink i can feel myself having a cold coming on and when i say i've not slept a wink i genuinely have just done an all-nighter because i've got a hand in today and silly me just leaves everything last minute so i genuinely have not slept in over 24 hours. So if I'm looking like an absolute mess, then it's because I am and I still haven't finished and I'm going to obviously get my first kind of birthday glow up treatment. I'm actually getting chin filler today, which is really fun. I don't wanna go into too much detail and do like too much of a disclaimer. No, I don't need filler and no one needs filler. It's just something that I just kind of been thinking about for a while. And the girl that's doing it is the same person that done my nose and I'm literally obsessed and she had like a Christmas offer on and I thought, you know what? That's my birthday present to myself. I've just been feeling a little bit shit recently. So I was like, do you know what, YOLO, fuck it. The thing is, because this is the first time that I'm getting it done, just like my nose, like if I don't like it, like it's gonna dissolve, like it's not gonna stay there. Whereas if I keep on getting it done, that's when it kind of like stays permanent. I'm excited. I'm gonna ask her to do like a little bit at a time because I don't really know how much I want. I haven't really properly spoken to you guys about my nose either. I was meant to film it and then I genuinely have not stopped. Like genuinely not stopped because of Black Friday. I was super busy, so I didn't actually get a chance to film it. So I will talk to you guys about it like later when I get back. But yeah, I had non-surgical rhinoplasty. I think I have mentioned it, but not probably spoken about it. Um, but yeah, best decision ever. I'm literally obsessed with my new little nose. But yeah, I'm going to the same person today, so I'll pop her Instagram on the screen. Um, but yeah, I'm really nervous, really excited to get a, I think it's like an 18 minute Uber, which I'm gonna be bringing my laptop with me to do uni work in the Uber which is fun, really fun. The girls actually aren't here either. They've gone home for the weekend, which was definitely for the best because I needed to do work. And I think they'll come back tomorrow. And today's Monday, by the way. I don't know if I said, and my birthday's on Wednesday. I'm gonna be 22. How crazy is that? It feels weird that I'm no longer gonna be 21. I feel like my 21 year went by so fast and so much fucking happened. I really don't need it done. Like, I don't wanna say that I do. I just kind of want it to, I don't know, maybe like level out my face a bit because my big forehead. I'm really scared. I don't know how it's gonna look. Ah, you chin, who this? I feel like it's kind of a little bit swollen, so I'm like looking forward to seeing it when it's like gone down a bit. But she also very kindly topped up my nose for me for free. So thank you so much. And oh my God, when I tell you, I'm obsessed with top up. You know when it's like, I didn't even think I needed a top up. And she was like, no, like this just gonna like down a little bit. Like I'll top you up for you. And now she's topped me up. How? insane yeah i'm loving it i'm not gonna lie it is two o'clock do not ask me how i submitted nine minutes nine minutes before it was due it's an absolute shambles to be honest with you i'm absolutely dreading this grade back i don't think i want to know and long story short i need to go to fucking bed i literally need to go to bed i haven't been awake since 8 a.m yesterday morning and it's gone to don't ask me how i'm still awake because i don't actually know like I've had so many caramel lattes. If you watched mine and Shan's B&M gift swap that you would have seen the caramel latte sachets that Shan got me, they're all gone. They're done out. I'm absolutely starving though, but you know when you're like, my eyes are going like blurry, like I need to go to bed. I wanted to give you guys a chin update. I'm literally having like a full on midlife crisis because I've just gone brunette, guys. No, I literally have got a wig on right now. <laughs> Who is she? I finally had a shower today. Really proud of myself. I'm not having a shower for the whole weekend. When I did, I literally didn't sleep for 36 hours, guys. Like when I had a nap yesterday after I spoke to you, I genuinely felt like I went into like some deep, deep comery sleep and I woke up with like dribble all down me. What an egg. I haven't really done much today to vlog for part of the glow up other than the fact that I've had a shower and washed my hair. But what do we think to the brunette shan? The wig for me is immediately no. I just basically kind of wanted to see like what I'd look like if I went like back a bit more like brunette. As in not dye my hair like that, like when my hair's grown out, just keep my natural hair colour. But I think I'm a blonde gal through and through. <laughs> I actually can't take myself seriously. Tomorrow is new nail day, guys, and I don't know what I want for my nails. I'm either thinking black glitter, red. I really want to do red. Like, I feel like Christmas is a really cool time to do red. I think red's like a boss bitch colour, but Tam's just got this, like, new black glitter, which looks insane, and I really, really want to do it. But other dilemma is that all my birthday outfits are pink. So I'm like, do I do a pink moment? Because it's my birthday. I'm struggling to decide between birthday or christmas at the moment this is how my chin is looking today it's definitely like gone down it's not as swollen as it was yesterday i'm actually obsessed birthday tomorrow it's actually in t minus two hours i can't believe it's 10 o'clock by the way i'm just steeping that i'm gonna do a little evening pamper before my birthday tomorrow and i got this new product this new cleansing balm and i thought we could try it out it's from a brand called natrium I don't know how you say that, but Space and K actually very kindly sent me a PR parcel, so thank you so much. It's a purple cleansing balm. I'm really excited to try this. This is not a vibe. I don't really smell of anything. I'm intrigued to see how this like melts my makeup off. 
be like melted my makeup off. I feel like I haven't really had a bad experience with a cleansing balm. My makeup off, we're looking and feeling fresh. I think to avoid any unnecessary breakouts or hopefully touch wood, because we do not want that, I am going to put on some of the Paula's Choice Exfoliate in Space and K actually very kindly sent me this and I bought the mini one ages ago. This one is freaking huge. I'm going to apply it all over my face. I've been getting loads of breakouts around here recently. I think it's because I'm dehydrated. We do not want any birthday breakouts. Oh my god, I actually could be drinking myself there. Kind of tempted to apply a bit of the fake tan, I can't lie. I'm just going to put on a bit of my face tan in my moisturiser, like just on like my shoulders and like top part. So I'm like glowing on this area in the morning. I don't think I'm that pale. Oh, it's just like my chest part. And I, That's not cute. That needs tan. I'm not actually 110% certain on my outfits tomorrow, but I don't really want to apply an actual like fake tan because I'm going to Manchester this weekend and by the time it gets to Sunday, she's going to be looking cornflakey and I cannot be having that. Just on my stories, funny enough, as I say that, tan is literally right there. Oh my God, they look sick. Wow, I actually love the silver chrome so much. Wow. Right, these are the stories I've just done. The questions. I've actually had to put an explanation for each one so everyone gets the vibe. I don't know what I want. I really don't. It's too hard to decide. And then I've also asked whether I should keep square or go oval because I literally cannot decide. Literally been six minutes. I'm already looking at the votes. I feel like it might be black glitter tips for the win, you know. Waking up on your birthday in fresh pyjamas. Name a better glow. <laughs> By the way, I've just applied some like tiny bits to my neck. I don't really know if it's going to do anything. But we shall see in the morning. But how freaking cute are these? I've got little love hearts on and they're red. They're from Primark, by the way. Little hint. I shouldn't even really be saying this, but Shan got them for me on the Christmas gift spot that's coming very, very soon. Hey, I love these. Sorry, I'm just going to go downstairs and chill with the girls and then I'm going to head to bed. I can't believe I'm going to be 22 tomorrow. Good morning. It's my birthday. I've literally just run out of bed, by the way. It is currently 20 to 9. I need to leave in 40 minutes. That's plenty of time to go and get my nails done. Every single morning I wake up, I feel like my chin just looks so much better. Like the first few days, you could definitely tell that it was swollen but who is she i'm just gonna do like a bit of a light makeup vibe to go get my nails done and i'm gonna come back and probably get glam yay i'm all ready to go and get my nails done i'll show you guys my outfit when i get back but i really need to leave because shop i'm in a rush okay i'm just walking to get my nails done but realize i need to update you guys on the polls everyone is voting for black tips 241 votes for black tips and it's literally equal between pink and red and then Everyone's saying to go back square, so I think I'm definitely gonna go back square. What I have is that all the girls and Sharon have all said to have pink tips. Because it's my birthday and they're like, your birthday outfits are pink, your birthday theme is pink. It literally makes sense to have pink tips, which I kind of agree, but this is my problem is that I can have pink tips any like time of year. I'm basically trying to think of a way that I can incorporate black and pink and kind of maybe have like a black glitter French with like a really thin, like hot pink line around the bottom or something i don't really know i need to speak to tam and discuss it with tam because i'm really not sure just at the sound i'm getting my nails done how cute is it in here i'm actually obsessed it's the pampers christmas tree for me which i just absolutely love tam is currently doing my nails we're going for a buy moment we've got the square these are all the colors i have chosen a little pink to do because we're going to do like a black glitter and pink moment and i'm so excited look at my nails they are literally so cute so yeah i went for black glitter with a little pink i'm actually obsessed ham always does the best job they're so cute it's part of my birthday glow up continuing this is something that i'm actually been really really excited to do for such a long time and also it is such a long time coming let me tell you that now i finally treated myself to some new piercings the other day and i have not changed my belly bar since i was 16 years old when i got it pierced i still have the piercing belly bar in like you know when they first pierce it like that's the belly bar i have it in it's been six years it's time for an upgrade i got it from that jewelry shop that's in probably most shopping centers these or whatever it is i've never been in there before until i went in there the other day i kid you not i was in there for genuinely 45 minutes because i'm so indecisive and then i got these to change my helixes because they're just super infected not the vibe i'm thinking i might just try and change the piercing because i changed my seconds and after i changed my seconds they were literally fine because they were a little bit infected before that so i'm thinking i might just give a little bit of a piercing switch up and hope that they are a bit better but who knows but then i'm saying that i did also get this this definitely is not going to be good for my ears but i got this from amazon and it's like an ear cuff and it's literally got little diamonds on i think that'd be so cute i've never like changed my i've literally got these ugly little balls in that i've had since i first had my ears pierced so i changed my belly let me show you yeah i've literally not had my belly changed ever i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to get the ball off i might have to wait for the girls to come back to help me i'm actually scared about my belly you know oh it makes me cringe oh my god stop it why is that literally the cutest thing Oh my god, I love it. It's so fucking cute, is that? So, second dilemma is, 
I fucking can't get these out, my earrings. Like, I genuinely don't know how to take them out. These are from Amazon. They're like teeth whitening strips. I'll link them down below on my Amazon storefront. From Dr. Dent. I don't know if Dr. Dent's any good, but I put one in yesterday and when I took it off, I was like, wow, that was under there all this time. So they're zero sensitivity, safe on enamel and up to eight times brighter teeth. And then you get 40 strips in a pack. This isn't an ad, by the way, just saying. But I got these because I'm really like wanting to get my teeth done and my teeth sorted, but like, it's just so much money. And also I was saying to Tam earlier, I was like, as much as I would love to get like composite bonding or something. For me, I'm one of them people that like, I always think about if something was to go wrong with them and like, I'm so unorganized anyway. Like, do I want to be going to the dentist? Or like, if I go far away, then if something happens, then I've got to travel. Do you know what I mean? Like, I realistically don't need them done that bad that I should like even bother messing with my teeth. So, that you get a top and a bottom in a pack. When I done this yesterday, it was a complete fail because you have to have this. <laughs> I really look so so right now. That's so aggressive. Uh, and you need to dry your teeth. I'm just gonna use this. But once they're on, they're fine. You know, they don't move. <laughs> Sorry, because I'm gonna have to talk. Like, this is gonna be so irritating. You leave them on for like half an hour to like an hour. My teeth are gonna be glowing. These are claiming to not be. <laughs> These are claiming to not be bad for your teeth. I'm gonna see how my teeth go. I'm gonna start doing my birthday hair and then I'll come on and like show you guys because I don't really wanna be talking with this thing because it's really irritating for you. I did a hair tutorial on my TikTok the other day. So I'm gonna link that down below. I haven't even done my hair yet, but I know for pretty much everyone that this is not long hair at all. If you've watched me for so long, then you will know my hair journey. I'm sorry. I'm so proud of myself with the growth. Like I was just having my hair down now and just like playing around with it. I'm actually getting to a stage now where I'm just like, already where i'm like oh, i don't want to put my extensions in my hair is not full enough for like the content and the pics like as much as i would love to not put them in i definitely need to put them in for like the content and the pics and stuff i've taken the things off my teeth now i've just finished my hair are they looking a bit whiter i think they are i mean that's a glow up i've just done my makeup and i'm actually obsessed like i've gone for like a full-on pink moment i'll show you what i use on my eyes the main thing i used was a candy trip by made by mitchell i'm actually obsessed I did do a whole like TikTok get ready with me. So if you want to see the full step by step of the makeup, then make sure to go and check that out. So this is my finished birthday look. I feel like I've properly like had a glow up because honestly, think about it a few days ago, I hadn't slept in 36 hours and here I am. I literally am obsessed. My outfit is so cute. I've got this little crop blazer on from Pretty Little Thing. This top is ego. I've got these like satiny cargo trousers on and then my Dior high top. Excuse the mess in the background because I've just been getting ready. I feel like it's like basic, but put together and cool so yeah we're gonna go for dinner now but make sure to stay tuned for my birthday vlog really hope you all did enjoy this video if you did then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and yeah i will see you all in my next video